pollen germination experiment aim to study pollen germination on a slide materials required nutrient medium for making the nutrient medium we take 100 ml of water and dissolve 20 mg of potassium nitrate 30 mg of magnesium sulfate 10 mg of boric acid 10 g of sucrose 10 mg of calcium nitrate we dissolve all these substances together in water and our nutrient medium is ready because we are carrying out this experiment in the laboratory so we require the nutrient medium so that the pollen germination can take place now we would require a fresh flower cover slip cavity slide needle and the brush you can see there is a concavity in the cavity slide there is a depression where in we are going to put our nutrient medium we with the help of a dropper we put two to three drops of the nutrient medium in the depression with the help of the brush we dust the pollen grains over the nutrient medium gently we are going to dust the pollen grains then we place the cover slip over the nutrient medium and there is a particular way to place the cover slip making an angle of 45 degrees and gently placing it so that there are no chances of air bubbles this way we hold the cover slip at an angle of 40 45 degrees and slowly with the help of the needle we place the cover slip over the nutrient medium on the slide now this slide we will leave it for some time for at least 15 to 20 minutes so that the germination process can take place i have already prepared one slide this i'll keep it under the microscope first i'll adjust the microscope and keep my slide on the stage of the microscope fix it with the help of the clips and then observe it i'm able to see that the pollen grains are have started to germinate uh, not all of them but few of the pollen uh, grains are germinating and the pollen tube is uh, coming out of the pollen through the germ pores now how do we write the practical we start with a materials required principle procedure result and observation and then precautions so this pollen germination experiment how do we actually write it in our practical notebooks in the interleaf notebook on the right side of it we first mention the date practical number let's say practical number 1 pollen germination then we write the aim of the practicals to study pollen germination on a slide then we write materials required principle then the procedure after that we write the result and the precautions and diagram is to be drawn on the left side on the blank side diagram should be properly drawn properly labeled drawn with the help of pencil aim of the practical is to prepare a temporary mound to observe pollen germination principle pollen germination is the male gamete to fight it contains the male gametes pollen grains germinate and form pollen tubes after they get deposited by the process of pollination on compatible stigma pollen tube 
Made up of cellulose is an extension of the inner wall of pollen grain in time. It emerges through one of the germ pores and passes through tissues of stigma and style to reach the ovary. The generative cell also passes into it. It soon divides into two male gametes. Pollen grains can also be induced to germinate in a synthetic medium. Because we are carrying out this experiment in the laboratory, the pollen germination experiment, therefore we require the nutrient medium. Materials required 10 gram sucrose, 10 milligram boric acid, 30 milligram magnesium sulfate and 20 milligram of potassium nitrate, 20 milligram of calcium nitrate, 100 ml of distilled water, cavity slide, cover slip, brush, needle, microscope, dropper, beaker and a fresh flower which has the mature pollen grains. Uh, for example, china rose, balsam, jasmine, lily or trasitantia. Procedure Prepare the nutrient medium for pollen germination by dissolving 10 gram of sucrose, 10 mg of boric acid, 30 mg of magnesium sulfate and 20 mg of potassium nitrate, 20 mg of calcium nitrate in 100 ml of distilled water. Using a dropper, take some nutrient solution and put two drops on a clean glass slide, cavity slide. With the help of a brush, sprinkle mature pollen grains on the drop of nutrient medium. With the help of the needle, place the cover slip on the drop. After 15 minutes, observe the slide under the microscope. When we observe the slide under the microscope, then we are able to see that several pollen grains germinate and the pollen tubes come out through the germ pores. The pollen grain is uninucleate. It has one nucleus in the beginning. At the time of liberation, it becomes two-celled with a small generative cell and a vegetative cell. In the nutrient medium, the pollen grain germinates. The tube cell enlarges and comes out of the pollen grain through one of the jump pores to form a pollen tube. The tube nucleus descends to the tip of the pollen tube. The generative cell also passes into it. It soon divides into two male gametes. We'll draw the diagram of the pollen. We'll label exine, the outer layer, intine, the inner layer. We'll show the germ pore and also we'll show the pollen tube coming out through the germ pore. We'll also label the generative cell and the native nucleus and the vegetative nucleus. The longitudinal section of the flower we can also show. Precautions to be taken. Collect the pollen grains from a fresh flower only which has mature pollen grains. Place only one to two drops of the nutrient medium on the slide, not more than that. Now let's see some viva questions. What is pollination, transfer of pollen grains? Uh, what are the different factors responsible for pollination? Air, wind, water and some animals are also responsible for pollination to take place. Which part of the flower contains pollen? Anther. What happens to the generative nucleus in the pollen tube of the germinating pollen grain? It divides into two to form two male gametes. What does the pollen tube carry? It carries the male gametes. Can you explain as to why some pollen grains fail to germinate? Because may might be they are not viable. Why uh, do we use sucrose as the medium of pollen germination? So that the pollen gets the food, gets energy from it. Can pollen grains of one plant species germinate on the stigma of other species? No, it cannot germinate.